Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today with a really interesting accessory for the GoPro, but not only GoPro. I would say that this can be used with any camera. It's targeted at action cameras, but for example, I've got a small and cheap accessory right over here, which will turn any camera that has a quarter inch screw to a action camera adapter. So I can put it right over here and put any camera that I want. Now, this is targeted at action cameras because let's imagine that you are doing a safari or something like that on a rough terrain and you want to put this on several angles of your car, then it's just great because in a really quick manner you can just put it here here there and just remove it and so on and so forth and i'll give you a few examples now before we move on don't forget to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video and if you need a key for your windows 11 windows 10 pro or home edition take a look at vnh software i will leave a link down below with a coupon code we have used this platform for the past few months with great results easy to purchase easy to activate everything legit so great Link down below and let's keep on moving. Ah, I forgot to mention they also have Office 2021, which we have tried here on the channel. Now for this, you don't need Office and you don't need Windows. You just need to have a little bit of creativity and use it and abuse it. This package from uh, Ulanzi comes with three pieces. This piece right over here, which will take the GoPro. And then it comes with this piece right over here, which is meant to put between a material which cannot be too thick. I did try two ways on my car, which we have, at least I do have the, or had the feeling that my car would be all magnetic uh, with the exception of the plastics. And I came to the conclusion that my car is mostly made of places that are not magnetic with the exception of the doors and the back side. On the front of the car, what I did was it was not magnetic, so I put it between, so I could put it uh, right there and it was really strong, so no issues whatsoever. Another example that I did was on my shirt. I did put it between my shirt and I was able to have a point of view with my GoPro. Now, have in mind that the GoPro is a kind of camera that it's quite heavy, uh, so if we bounce or if you are doing an activity that will move a lot, you will feel your shirt moving. So if you are using a jacket, probably it's easier, but on a shirt, it will move a lot. If we are doing an activity that it's not necessary to move a lot, like a point of view where I'm grabbing something here and showing to the audience, then... Probably that will be okay. And one of the things that I will be using is for that. I usually use a hat on some of my tasks to show point of view. But in this particular case, I do believe that this position is better. And that was one of the reasons, beside the other reason of using on the car and things similar. Now, the third piece that comes is this one right over here, which is intended to put on a tripod. We can use it several ways, but we can its target to the tripod. So if I put it, as you can see, it's really strong, the magnet. So no worries, you can use it on a safari without any issues, it will not fall. So and it's really, really, really tough to, to you, you need to push it really hard to, to remove it. It's strong. Now, one thing that it's important here, I've been using my GoPro like this on the car but today i would suggest if you are going to use on a car and you don't want to scratch it uh, to use this piece right over here or use this piece because at the back here it's only plastic and this is probably my own the only thing that i don't like so much and it's not nothing serious as you can see it has rubber here on this side but no rubber here and probably this is to maintain a better magnetic force and totally okay but if we put it directly to the car like this then there is a small risk of 
having marks on the car and that will not be good. If it's a car that you don't mind having marks then so totally fine. In my particular case I will need to be a little bit more careful. Now this one right over here has these rubber pads which will protect so I can just put it like this and then put it on the car or any other surface that we don't want to make any damage and it will be just fine. The same happens with this one. It has rubber here on this end. So if we don't want to use that one on the tripod, uh, if we can just remove it from the tri tripod and put it anywhere because it will have magnetic at the back as well. Now, it also comes with this, which might be a good protection if we want to put it on our camera and put it somewhere that gives us another level of insurance just in case things go really south. And basically this is the way that we can mount. Now on the car I also used another accessory right over here because on the car we are limited to this angle, on the car or anywhere else. And if you want to give a different perspective then I would suggest to get a cheap thing like this. This is a small ball head and we can mount it there and then the GoPro here on the top, the GoPro or any other camera and we can turn it to the angle that we want and we will be able to get a few interesting angles on the car or any other vehicle. And basically that is it. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if you usually use your GoPro or you are interested in using your GoPro with point of view or using in your car without any hassle, just put it there, bam, and drive away. And then after a few miles, just or kilometers, remove it and put it on another angle, bam, and move it and just great. One of the things that I can compare because I also use some with suction, this one is a lot stronger and safer than the suction ones that I've used so far. So this is my suggestion if you are looking for something to easily put it there and keep it safe. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.